oh, 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 O'Reilly's Auto Parts. <laughs> All right, everyone, what's going on? My name is Justin. As always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Today, we're going to do a walk around in O'Reilly's. We're going to look at some of the tools that they have and the shop equipment that they have for sale. Uh, this is my subscriber request. Uh, thanks for the request. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, so here there's a bore scope for 130 bucks. That's not a bad price, man. Uh, but I'm gonna ask my friend Jeff what he thinks about the Bosch scan tools. I don't know much about them. I think I've asked you in the past, Jeff, what do you think of the Bosch pocket scan tools? Pretty good, worth it, no? Worth it and worth it. These are the only two that are worth anything. Okay. This one does the buzz test and all that stuff on the diesels. Hey, no I said no flash photography, that. mister. Okay. Um, also, it's updatable, and you could also add uh, parameters to it. It gives oh, you all nice. the gauges, the actual scope, the whole nine yards. That's I have. I actually have this one. Sweet, thanks. All right, so what Jeff's talking about here with the buzz test, I know we were interrupted, but if you're trying to see if all the injectors are cycling on like they're supposed to, when it comes to diesels, it'll actually, it'll sound them off and it'll let you know which ones are not going off. But they also offer you the down and dirty testers like compression, fuel, etc. cetera. Uh, timing lights, timing lights are about half the cost you can expect from AutoZone, the digital ones, still at about 100 bucks. Here's what I love, so they sell Ingersoll Ran as well as SunX. Now this is some good quality stuff. This is the kind of stuff that you can expect to purchase on the tool truck. But now you can get it for a fraction of the cost. And what Jeff told me is, if you ever have it an issue, you bring it in with your receipt or your uh, club card, and they'll send it out for a pair. Beautiful, I love that. So, fair pricing on their air tools. Now, performance tool is like the blue point to the snap-on. If the snap-on was like SunX and Ingersoll Rand, performance tool would be their blue point option. And I think it's a fairly inexpensive option. In fact, I think, I dare say Harbor Freight would probably beat the crap out of this performance tool. But, hey, I've never used them. I don't buy the cheaper performance tool stuff as far as air tools are concerned. Now this, uh, what is this? This is uh, Flexzilla. This is something new. I've never seen it. It looks really cool. I'd be half tempted to try it out myself. Okay, Cherry Picker. How close in comparison does this look like the Duralast? I have the Duralast, you guys have seen it. Looks the same, same features, same function, same price. I'm pretty sure the same company makes them for both stores. Same, I mean, 250, 50 bucks for the uh, leveler if you wanted to uh, level it. Here's a 22 gallon air compressor. Here's the Cherry Picker. The cherry Picker, I, uh, I don't have this one, but I have the Duralast one. I have this specific AC Delco air compressor. It's lasted throughout the years. I think I've had it for like three years now. Their jacks, we're gonna look at their jacks here in a minute, but there's some pricing on some of the high-end, low-profile ones that they have. Uh, three and a half ton and a three ton. Uh, here is, what is this? This is a, a mini air compressor, so if you want a smaller one, I don't think I would go this route, but I mean, if you wanted to, you could. If you just wanted to fill tires with it, absolutely, why not? I've had the eight gallon air compressor from Harbor Freight. It held up for so many years, and then I got rid of it. I stepped it up to a 22 gallon, and I still feel like I'm lacking some kind of power. I did break it on accident here when I moved it. I also broke the muffler off, but it still works and functions. I've changed the oil out like twice in three years. All right, AC Delco chair looks again like the Duralast ones. We're gonna see a lot of things that look like Duralast in here. Like again, they probably are made by the same exact company. But look at some of these low profile jacks. To me, O'Reilly's had more jack options to offer you, especially like this one. This one comes with sockets for every lug nut attached to the jack. So it's like an all in one carry. You can just literally carry it, toss it in the truck and go. So I love that. I don't like the style. But look at this, they even offer you a half inch uh, 12 volt cordless gun to go with that, or corded gun. I don't know what the gold thing's all about, but here's some more low profile jacks. This is a three and a half ton, looks pretty nice and heavy duty. Not sure about the pricing, pricing looks like it might be a little bit high, I could be wrong. Uh, but you know, I would buy that one over something like this, I wouldn't buy this one, you know. Uh, these, these auto, so these looked handy to me. 130 bucks or something like that I think, wheel dollies. 
I've seen cars get towed in with ball joints that snap off. How handy would it be to jack it up, throw that underneath the tire, and wheel it into the shop? I mean, <laughs> it's nice to have this kind of, these kind of things that you can pick up from the auto parts store without having to wait for two days shipping from Amazon. Here's one that you can lower a gas tank down with. They say you can raise your vehicle, but hey, I think you can use it for drop gas tanks. Jack stands, jack stands are a dime a dozen. You can get them from anywhere. As long as they can take the pressure, they will hold up 25 bucks for a pair of two. Pretty nice deal. Let's talk about their tools. Lots of tools here. I have this Titan scraper. I use the hell out of it at work. It's phenomenal. You change it out, interchangeable blades, perfect. Let's take a look over here at their screwdriver set. At least they offer an eight piece screwdriver set where the AutoZone didn't and the Duralast option. They even offer you the stubby screwdrivers, which you're gonna need, especially if you're working on any kind of a Jeep or Chrysler product, you want those stubby ones. Okay, you can't afford that set. Here's a cheaper set made by Performance Tool. And again, at least it comes with the stubbies because you're going to need those. That's like, like the whole reason of buying a screwdriver kit to begin with for 11 bucks. Oh, let's see what else we got. Oh, the magnet. Okay, now look at this. So, okay, outside of it being a flexible magnet, it's also made by Lyle. Where can you buy Lyle from? Hmm, I don't know. Snap-on, Matco, Cornwell, Gear Wrench. Every tool truck distributor sells Lyle. All the color-coded ones with the company name written on the side, Lyle. Lyle makes them. They're right here. And they're about the same, maybe a little bit less than you'd pay on the truck. So why why not just go to the auto parts store and pick it up? This grabber thing's pretty awesome to have. If you've ever dropped anything that's non-magnetic, you're gonna want this grabby tool. This grabby tool is so cool, it's a little bit difficult for me to try to do two things at once, but look, bam, claws come out, grab it and pull it out. Especially if you dropped your magnet down in the engine bay. Now here's a mirror. Does it look pretty similar to the ones you see on the tool truck? Absolutely. Made by Lyle. Again, awesome tools to have. This is tool truck quality in an auto parts store. This is what I love about O'Reilly's. This is why I go to O'Reilly's for a lot of specialty tools and things like that. Flashlights are pretty handy to have, obviously. They do sell a variety of different lights. I even found one that I actually liked and picked up today. Not this one specifically, but look at this one. 26 bucks, 1150 lumens gets better 37 or 38 bucks 2600 lumens what i had to pick this up dude because it plugs into 110 outlet i don't have to worry about charging it ever and that's why i have the under hood light that i have i don't have to charge it i just plug it in and go all right ratchet wrenches yeah a little bit on the spendy side you know what gear wrench is a far better option they offer you all sizes we're here you're kind of hit and miss and you're missing some sizes. I think if they really wanted to sell these for 50 bucks a pop, they better make it worth it. It's just not worth it to me. Gear Inch is a far better product. All right, here's some crow's feet. Now these crow's feet, I've had these in the past and they go up to such a big size. Look, if you don't want to buy both sets, you can buy just the metric set. Goes all the way up to 22, 22 millimeter. What does that mean to you? Well, 19 has a close comparison as far as measurement goes as far as three quarter. 22 is pretty much seven eighths. So why won't I just buy the one set? But if you wanted to, you could buy the second set in case you're working on some old school muscle cars. Now you have both sets and they're fairly inexpensive. I think they're very reasonable and the metal quality is good. Okay, so you talk about socket sets that you can buy. You're missing the two spark plug sockets. How about two here for like four bucks? That's a good killer deal. 5 8 and 13 16 All right, now look, you're missing your 10 millimeter, you lost it. Look, shallow, mid, deep, wobble, and quarter inch, 3 8 shallow, deep again, and then they offer you the one for body. So if you're removing body parts, boom, there's a body panel 10 millimeter deep. Super deep, and it's an awesome set to have for the price. Combination wrench sets. You know, I haven't tried the power torque combination wrenches. They look okay, but again, they're still lacking in the size department. They don't offer all sizes. Now, I have used these. These are GM Performance. They don't sell a lot of GM Performance anymore because they went to power torque. But I used to buy the shit out of GM Performance tools from back in the day because I love the fact that it said GM on it. And I'm a Chevy guy. I mean, I do love my Jeeps. And I'm a Mopar man through and through, but Chevrolet is my first love. That was like the high school sweetheart that I had. 
Okay, here we go. Here's some more power torque stuff. Long needle nose, 45, 90, straight. There's some uh, fatter needle nose. Now look at these hammers. Look, $14 for a three pound hammer. Pretty comparable to the ones that you can find at Harbor Freight. This thing felt duty and it felt really good in my hand. I gave it a little bit of a swing while I was in the store. It's nice, it's super nice for what you pay for 14 bucks. I know it's made in China, but come on guys, it's gonna hold up. They also offer you some dead blows here, much the same that you could pick up from Harbor Freight too, but look, a fraction of the cost of what you'd pay off the tool truck. Now look at this one, this one caught my eye, made by Titan, 16 ounce hammer, it was like 14 bucks. I was like, man, I almost wanna buy it just because of how cheap it is and I could use it for the house, but I didn't, I put it back, you know, I didn't want to just grab and, and go. I already bought a few things as it was. Here's some wobble sets. Now, this wobble set for 3 8 drive does cover all the sizes. So I found that this power torque set was a good set, especially for the value of what it is that you're paying for. This is a good set to own, and I would recommend it for 25 bucks. All right, now we got some other things here. Ratchets. Okay, half-inch ratchet, yes, does show a lot of... Similarity to the Duralass as well as Husky, 22 bucks. Again, here's another one, 18 bucks for 3 8 drive. So if you're missing your ratchet or you lost it, you can come down here and pay a small amount to get these. And yeah, I wonder if the same tool company actually makes the ratchets for all auto parts stores and maybe even for Home Depot, I'm not sure. But look, they have some great options here and you could pick them up for fairly inexpensive. And some weird stuff like this, that looks kind of like a gimmick thing, so does that. I wouldn't trust either one of those. But, I mean, if you need to play around with it, you could try it out. Coming up here to the top. Now, my friend has one of these ratchets. He loves it. It's a, both a 3 8 drive and quarter inch drive, and a 3 8 drive and a half inch drive. I can't. I just can't. I know they offer the comfort grip. That's a plus. Duralass doesn't offer a comfort grip. At least they offer you one. It's a little bit wide at the bottom of the handle, but uh, again, you're. It's a, it's, a, it's a gimmicky tool. I mean, it's a, a double-sided flip ratchet. It's going to be too big and bulky to get down in certain areas. They do offer the same exact brake line wrench as we saw with the flex head uh, from AutoZone, so that was pretty nice. Even though it's an SAE, I didn't see a metric one. And They have some individual sockets here that I think are fair pricing, so if you lost a socket, which mechanics tend to do, you can pick one up for a reasonable price. We're talking like anywhere from between five and ten bucks a piece, depending on how big or small you go. Even when it comes to Allen. So say you run into a situation where you need a specific Allen or Torx bit, you don't have it, you don't want to buy the full set, boom, go down there, pick it up for three to five bucks, eight bucks, and then walk away and go back to the project and finish it. No harm, no foul. C clamps, C clamps come dime a dozen. You can pick them up from Harbor Freight, you can pick them up from here at O'Reilly's, it's whatever. Okay, 25 bucks for some Torx bits. They cover all the way down to T50. That's a problem for me. 55, you're gonna run a situation with any T55. They didn't have T55. Don't know that I'd pay 25 bucks for that. I'd probably buy the Husky set from Home Depot because they do go up to T55. Again, here's another set uh, made by another Ultra or something like that. Also doesn't go down to T55. I was looking around, I was trying to find to see if any set offered it, none of them did, they only went up to 50. So you might go to Home Depot and pick up the Husky set instead. Now here's 25 bucks for an e-torque set. Now this e-torque set does cover a broad range of sizes that you will use and need, and you don't need to get too heavy duty and extreme with it, but again, I think Husky offers you a much larger variety. Impact sockets are good. Look, I've used Performance Tool impact sockets in the past, I have no complaints about them. Even, same as Harbor Freight, I have no complaints about the impact sockets from Harbor Freight. These are great sockets. You can use them, you can abuse them, they hold up, and they held up longer than my Craftsman ones. Okay, so 30 bucks for this set. You know what, I bought a similar set from Harbor Freight, though it didn't include the 21 millimeter, which this one does. They were a fraction of the cost and I could use my 20% coupon, so... Yeah, I would probably go Harbor Freight. All right, now let's talk about their, their mechanic service sets. For what it is that you get, again, you're gonna have to chop it up. Buy a 3 8 set, then maybe buy the half inch set, then put both sets together, and then figure out how much you paid for a full set if you really wanna go with the power torque option. But to be honest, 
These are not sets that I would probably invest money in. I mean, they're nice on the fly, sure. I'm not saying that their quality is bad. I'm just saying that they're a little bit limited like Duralast. Duralast is a little bit limited. I think that you can get a better set somewhere else. All right, let's talk about their cordless for a minute. Now, I absolutely, I have the 3 8 drive impact gun, but look, here's a hex driver that turns into a drill. That's cordless, that's 55 bucks. That's a good option. You can charge it, and if you want extra batteries, they'll order them for you. Here's a cordless 3 8 drive ratchet. I would compare this to a Gen 1 Milwaukee. This thing's fucking bitching. I'd even compare it to the, uh, what was that other one that we did a review on, Not to, the Von Hoos, or Von Hoos. You know, a pretty good option, especially if you want something cordless to speed things along. 60 bucks. Here's the one that I've got. Now this is a 3 8 drive impact gun. Works well. Absolutely love it. Have no complaints. It charges fast. I think I get it charged within 30 to 45 minutes. I'm good to go. So if you're looking for cordless tools but you don't want to drop dime like a huge amount of money on these things, go to O'Reilly's. Check these things out. Look at this. They even have a, uh, a heavier duty version with a, a bigger battery option, 20 volt, half inch. And look, at uh, 365 foot pounds, look, you can at least break away some lug nuts and a handful of other things in the engine bay. It's going to get the job done for what it's worth. And I mean, you're paying a fraction of the price without having to pay outrageous prices, you know? Because let's face it, some cordless tools, there's more hype in it than anything else. But look, let's go to the specialty tools. You're going to use this. Now, when I first started off, I bought this little cube for winding brake calipers back. It's awesome. 13 bucks. Perfect. Go over here. There's some more brake tools you can buy individually for 8 bucks. You don't have to buy the whole entire thing for 60 to 100 bucks off the tool truck. You can buy them individually as you need them. This thing's badass. Shane has this. 45 bucks. Squeeze that piston in if you don't need to rewind it. It's awesome, dude. The whole shop uses it. It's an absolute dream to have. I love that. It speeds things up so fast. Here's some other uh, brake tools that you might need if you're a brake tech. Some flaring tool if you need one on the fly for 10 bucks. Pitman arm puller, I would say nay. Nay to the Pitman arm puller. I don't think it's going to hold up. I believe that thing will turn to powder. The tie rod end and small Pitman arm puller and the little tie rod end puller, I'd say yeah. Those are small. I'd give them a shot. But the bigger one, I've tried those on some rusty, heavy-duty pitman arms. They do not hold up. They break to pieces. Seal puller, you can never go wrong with a seal puller. And then the tie rod separator tool, if you have a hammer, works great too. Okay, my guys on the East Coast, map gas. Map gas is my friend when it comes to rust, though I don't see half the rust that you guys do. But hey, maybe you have better luck with propane. I don't have better luck with propane. I use map gas. But look, here's some adapters you could pick up. You could buy a kit or it comes with one. Quick igniter, push the button, rock and roll. Or you could pick this attachment up, strike a flame, and you're off, you're off and running. So you know, for 25, 35 bucks plus 15 bucks per bottle, you, you can kind of fill in the blank and do your own research. Okay, you want to check your head gasket real quick, see if you have a blown head. Boom, here we go. Lyle Tools, one stop shop, pick this up, it's going to work, and it's half the cost of what I paid off the Matco truck. All right, so here's some for fuel injector pulses. So if you want to check fuel injector pulses, see if you have a pulse going to the fuel injector, you can get a kit right here from O'Reilly's. 22 bucks. Spill free funnel. I have one of these. I think I paid five extra dollars. But look, this thing works great. We have two of them at the shop. We use the hell out of them. It's great for fluid top off. Let the system burp and bleed if you need to. They're handy to have and it's nice that it has all the adapters. You can buy this on the tool truck too for 50 bucks, 55 bucks. Why not buy 45 and get it here? I paid almost $100 for my Honda Special Tool, and I was surprised when I saw this for sale for $30 bucks at O'Reilly's. And I was like, I got to share that. Now, I have these, and I did buy these at O'Reilly's. I bought these quick disconnects for fuel line. I have this whole rack at work. Lyle Tool makes some good stuff, guys. I'm telling you, this is like the tool truck auto parts store bar none. I also have these for air conditioning disconnects. And transmission line disconnects. Those work great too. All right, this looked pretty interesting. They had a valve spring compressor. So if you're doing a leak down test and you're putting air into the cylinder, you can keep the valve and everything closed and you can remove everything, replace the seals, put it all back together, and then move on to the next cylinder. 20 bucks. I'd, I'd try that. 
Now I've had these, I've used these, I haven't had the best of luck with them. They work great in the beginning, but then they kind of loosen up over time and then they kind of drip drop here and there. But they hold up for what they're worth, they're just not the best. This, you're going to need this for uh, GMs, especially when you're doing water pumps and things like that. Awesome tool to have. Okay, serpentine belt tool kit, we're going to look at that, but let's take a look at this hook and pick kit. So if you're working with upper and lower radiator hoses, this is a pretty heavy duty pick set here. And you can use that to kind of work yourself around stubborn fuel lines and hoses. But now look, if you need a serpentine tool belt, I recommend the gear wrench one. But if you don't have a gear wrench nearby and you can't wait two days, go to O'Reilly's, pick this kit up. comes with sockets and crow's feet to get down into those tight to reach spots. Should hold up. I had to pick this up today. I needed this at work. Nobody had one. I actually went to O'Reilly's for this specifically, so I did pick that up today. You're going to need it for drive belts. It's just one of those tools you got to have in your toolbox. They're DVOMs. Look, I would probably trust Ames and Klein over something like this, but in a pinch, will they work? Yeah, you know, but I mean, like I said, you can get the one for free from Harbor Freight. You can get the other one for a discount, whatever. Test lights are test lights. I think they're a little bit on the pricey side, but you know, anywhere from six to basically 16 bucks. This kit comes in handy. I've had one of these in the past. When you need to connect some electrical stuff, it comes with the crimpers, the screwdrivers, the bits, the little tiny uh, crush adapters and butt connectors. It's just awesome. Electrical tape, everything in one little box. Here's what I love about O'Reilly's too. Don't overprice catch pans. They're cheap, three to 10 bucks a piece. Then you can come up here and you can get a big five gallon thing that you can just keep dumping oil in for seven bucks. Go back to O'Reilly's and dump it in their waste disposal. Funnels for days, anywhere from a dollar to five bucks. They do not overprice this stuff. Because I know that as DIYers, we lose funnels all the time. We don't know where the hell they go. So we can come down here and pick them up for a few bucks. Closeouts. They also have a closeout area and they also offer military discount. I love the fact they offer both. So two thumbs up to O'Reilly's for military discount and for the closeout aisle. I picked this up, how can I not? I love this style of ratchet and it's seven bucks. And I'm like, Psh, dude, for seven bucks, I don't care if it lasts a year. Children, Chitlin manuals, they have Chilton manuals. You need service information, go there. They also have, if you have like a small block Chevy, small block Ford, they have performance tools, Mr. Gasket, uh, MSD ignition. They have all different types of stuff to suit your hot rod needs. I love the fact they have this kind of stuff on display where you can't, you don't see that at AutoZone. You don't even see that really at Napa. So two thumbs up to O'Reilly's for this. All right, so come back over here to some of their other sections they had. They had this Flexzilla again, but they had this tor tornado gun with all these different adapters for air. They also had this sweet 21 piece set made by uh, Ultra Steel. Dude, for 15 bucks, I, I just had to. I don't know why, I just had to. I was like, dude, I need to have that. I, I, there's precision screwdrivers, they had bits, they had other screwdrivers. Here's some seal removers. Those look like the Mayhew ones that I have. Nice Titan set, fairly inexpensive. There's a pistol grip, pliers again, a thermal gun. Uh, they had some other screwdrivers here, some pry bars that were kind of janky, uh, some extensions. They had some, here's your mirrors and magnets. You need a heavier duty magnet, three to five bucks. You need a, a smaller mirror or a square mirror or a big mirror, three to five bucks. Fairly inexpensive. I like that. I'm not trying to spend 10 or 20 bucks for a mirror. I saw these, non-marring pry tool set, non-marring pick set. I needed the, the non-marring pry tool set for interior work, because sometimes I gotta do interior stuff, and I don't wanna scratch the crap out of the customer's plastic. I saw these, and I, those are nice. I, I just picked those up last week for the RC build. Small magnetic trays, six bucks. But look, the Titan one, is also six bucks, but you only get one. You don't get hooks, and you're missing another tray. But this Ultra Steel, six bucks. I bought that. I bought that last week. I have it here at the house. Love it. Mechanics gloves. They do come in handy. They do wear out depending on what it is that you're doing. If you're doing firewood, they don't hold up. If you're doing mechanic work, uh, you could probably get a few months out of them. 
All right, so here's the stuff I did pick up. I picked up the uh, belt spreader, the tool that we talked about. I did pick up the non-marring pick set, so that way I had it for interior and trim work. I also picked up that uh, ratchet because it's seven bucks and it was made out of all steel. I love the way that it moved. It moved the right direction for me. It just, it had that feel, that heavy neural. It, it's a selector switch work. It was a locking, it did. It was just, it had everything for seven bucks. The screwdriver set, here's what I love about these. I think these are better than the Matco ones actually because look, the top spins. I can put it in my palm, grab a hold of it, and I can sit there and turn. I don't have to twist my wrist. And for those of us that have arthritis, this is a dream come true. Two thumbs up to Ultra Steel for that. I also had to get this light, made by Performance Tool. This shit is bright as hell for 2600 lumens. And it plugs into the wall, so I never have to worry about batteries dying while I'm underneath an RV trying to pull a transmission. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. I think I scored today. I wanted to share it with you guys in case you happen to be at O'Reilly's. You might check this light out or some of the other things that I have in front of us. All right, so that being said, that'll pretty much wrap up this video. Look, I hope you enjoyed the walk around with me in O'Reilly's Auto Parts. I also hope you've been enjoying the content lately. I have been getting asked questions. Hey, Justin, can you do one with Lowe's? Hey, Justin, can you do one with Napa? Guys, yes, absolutely. I'm having just as much fun with these as you guys are. So I have full intentions of doing a Lowe's walk around, a Napa walk around. I got a handful of other stores I'd like to go through, see what they got. Because when you're building your toolbox for the very first time and you don't know what's out there and what's out there could be cheaper, just seeing somebody show you the prices and show you what's available might give you ideas so you can be picky and choosy as far as what you buy, how you buy it, when you buy it. Rome wasn't built in a day. You don't need to build your entire tool collection in one day. Spread it out, check out the neighboring stores, look for the best deal that you can, and then build your dream box with the tools that you need to get the job done. That's all I got for this video, guys. Thanks always for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.